in what you think does happen. See, the funny thing is a lot of people call it luck. Oh, they just got lucky. A lot of, the truth is, a lot of times you make your own luck. If you're the one thinking that way, if you're the one performing that way, if you're putting in the time and the effort, it's gonna happen. Like, you guys heard about my saying, I'll say it in two words, what is it? All in. All in. It's crazy, but a lot of times people don't know, you know the first time I said that was? To a group of people? <laughs> jail. First time I said all in to a group of people? Jail. Yeah, see the funny thing is everyone just sees me on the sidelines working with the Giants with Odell and Eli, but first time I actually worked with a group, motivational speaking, jail. See, that was the only place I'd open their doors for me to go speak with them, jail. So I told them, you guys got to be all in because you're coming in and out of this jail 10 times in the past 12 months. You're not making a difference. You got to be committed to making a difference. Crazy thing is, the person in that jail that day was related to someone that worked for, guess who? The Giants. I get a call three years later. Hey, uh, John Paul, um, you know, will you speak to the New York Giants? My speaker canceled. Great, how'd you get my number? You got your number from this guy who works here. He had a relative in jail three years ago. He said you were the best speaker I've ever heard. Um, please don't be late. See, the crazy thing is you're positive talk. You have no idea who's listening. You have no idea how it can change your life. When I spoke in that jail that day, did I think I was going to be flying to Dubai and Hong Kong and be on the sidelines of NFL games? No. I just took them on a telephone person. See, you guys got to start telling yourself this. You guys got to start making it real. Am I going to say you're going to start positive speaking and you're going to speak to the next next week? No. Okay? <laughs> but it, why not? If it can happen to me and you know my background is, yeah, I played in the NBA, but the bottom line, I was a ninth grade world history teacher for seven years. World history, freshman world history, that's what I taught for seven years in the Giants family. Not too glamorous, right? It's not about where you are, it's about what you bring. Guys, start talking to yourself. Start using it. But when you say it in front of the kids, it's not just fantasy. They can tell if it's made up, or they can tell if it's real. Now, just like Danielle said, this is powerful. But if you choose not to use it, remember the choice is yours, but you're missing out. So guys, really make sure we want to get them empowered, but you're only going to visit them three times. you got to give them tools so they can do it for the rest of their lives. So hopefully, you're the one that's the trainer in about 10 years. They're the one sitting here, and you're teaching them how to do it. And they can say, when they sit here, you talked to me 10 years ago. That's why I'm where I am today. And that's the greatest feeling in the world.